So tell me about the convent and the nuns. The convent and the nuns, I came to St. Bede's as a new Catholic. I'd only been a Catholic for about a year when I came to St. Bede's. It was a new experience. I was still religious and believing and enjoying this idea of faith and practice. I loved to practice. Thought I had a vocation to be a Franciscan friar, something like that. Loved ritual, loved all the ceremony and the pomp and all that stuff. And I can't remember how it happened. I started helping at the Senecal convent next door. Ah, one link was, when I was 10, I came there for religious instruction. I forgot the nun's name, but we came there on a Saturday and had a, an hour's religious instruction learning about Catholicism and the Catholic faith. And that was special, you know, it was the semi-enclosed order. I would come to the lodge, they'd let me in. They had a special code in the bell, they'd ring the bell, like ding, 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 ding. And that meant that particular nun would come scurrying along the corridors and we would sit and she would piously teach us. And I thought she was lovely. And I still remember her teaching, I remember the books I I wish I still had some of those books. But later on, about the age of 13, I became a regular daler, the altar boy. Uh, they had, um, what's it called, adoration, uh, the sacraments, I forgot what it's called, uh, benediction. I would come along and do benediction after school and I would also do odd jobs. Sister Waite and Sister Burns loved me. They were older women and I was like a son substitute for them. I would do an odd job, whether it was moving candlesticks or I would go in the enclosure. I was the only man allowed in the enclosure, very privileged. And they would give me tea. Uh, it was a tray with a bit of cake and a cup of tea and I sat there like a, like a priest really in the back of the sacristy and I loved that and they taught me much and I loved the study mill when the bishop came it was my job to remove his little skull cap on and off at appropriate moments in the mass and rest the gospels on my forehead and all this stuff loved it, it was just changing from Latin to English then but the ceremonial pleased me and the nuns were my friends and I liked being there the same way I used to go on a Sunday to St Bede's and join the borders I didn't like living at home home life was challenging it was a haven for me and I still remember them with great affection what they did for me